All right, well, I'm uh, pretty busy these days, and um, as I get older, it seems like the busier I get, and I have less and less time to work with uh, little projects, but I did this uh, one morning before I got ready to do other things, and I was, I was surprised that it worked, and um, so I thought I would share this with you. Is This is a, just a toilet paper roll cardboard tube. And I've worked with them before, and I've shown different things I've done with those things. But this little arrangement for a pulse motor, I was really surprised how well it worked. And I'm just using one of these um, drivers out of a solar waving toy. But it was the way I did this and how it was so efficient that I thought I would share is the heart of what I did here is this. And that idea of just simply taking a toothpick, a round toothpick, and shoving a needle through the middle of it, A, I didn't know if it would work at all, and it did work, and it did stick enough because of the type of wood they use in a toothpick, that I was able to make that suspension method. And what was um, most pleasing about that was it was so adjustable I could reduce the friction down by using the top of the needle instead of the pointy part and adding or subtracting magnets on the top to get that so it just barely was suspended. And that made the friction really, really low. And I was able to get this to work off of just one of those little solar driver units. And this is in my living room, uh, just aimed at a window. And uh, then the um, suspension here, it was so simple just to uh, put a rubber band around a couple of popsicle sticks. You could put it at the top here too with just one or even use a pencil and, and uh, stick these magnets on a pencil. But that was really, really easy. And um, so I thought I would share that with you. And the magnets aren't glued on the bottom. There's a magnet on the inside and a magnet on the outside of these type of magnets that uh, they're just held uh, with a traction on the bottom of that tube and those are adjustable up and down of course too to adjust the uh, positioning and you could advance this idea with a coil a battery and a reed switch mounted right there and make a rather interesting simple simple pulse motor um, the other thing that I, a reason I wanted to show this video is I'm sitting in my chair right here, and that's a TV tray. And as you get older, you're sitting in a chair more and more and more. And so this is a project that you could do sitting in the chair watching TV at night. And I thought, you know what, this is my kind of project <laughs> in my age. Well, it's something I can just do here. Uh, in a, in a comfortable setting. So I thought I would share that with you. But this right here was the real heart of it. Now, if I put another one at the bottom, <clears throat> and then I put a shaft all the way through that, and you make it a, a thin shaft uh, of some kind, uh, you could run this horizontally and spin it up like this and make a drum kind of a pulse motor out of it. But um, like I say, the the thing was so simple that I thought I would share this with people that you can make one of these uh, simple pulse motors just sitting in your chair with a TV tray. So that was what the purpose of this um, video was all about. Simple pulse motor sitting in your chair watching TV. Thanks for watching.